seen a social media post on a fellow educator's virtual classroom and wondered how you can create one for yourself. Today I'm going to show you how super easy and fun it is to create your own virtual classroom within Canva and Google Slides. But first, hello, my name's Serena from SincerelySerena.com. If you love learning how you can up your teaching game with fun tips, tricks, and inspirations, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you would like to know more about how you can start your out school teaching career and be in charge of your own salary, email me or message me down below. And as always, I know your time is precious, so I will be adding any particular videos that I have in the iCard as well as do timestamps for you if you need to jump ahead in the video. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool virtual classroom out of Google Slides. If you don't know what a virtual classroom is, a virtual classroom is pretty cool, especially for our out school classes. It is very helpful for not only flex classes or classes that you need these students to do homework or prepare things before class as for New Cuisines class. I need these students to make sure that they have the recipe cards, the supply lists, uh, they already need to have cooked white rice, and we're also learning about the history of a Shirley Temple and, and various things. I also have a welcome interactive video that I have created through Nearpod. Creating a virtual classroom is an awesome place to put all of the helpful links that you want your students to have in a more engaging environment than just sending them a document with things listed. The things that I have linked here are the pot I have, um, our supply list, they can find their recipe cards, they will find out how to make rice. So I will teach you how to link some YouTube videos. And so since the students are viewing these videos outside of class and I am linking a link directly to the creator's YouTube video on the platform. I do not need to get permission from them to use the video. I will also show you how you can link various news articles if you need to in your classroom. I have our out school classroom linked right here below and I also have my um, introduction video if they haven't seen my out school introduction video right here as well as my Nearpod class right here. This is my, my teacher view, but I'll open it in incognito. So this is what it will look like when you created it and you send it to your students. So let's look at what it looks like on the back end. So this is what it will look on the back end. So I'm going to help you today create a virtual classroom from scratch. Before we get into the actual room and how to get that, it'll be much easier for you to create your virtual classroom if you have all the links that you need kind of in the same spot. So I created within my Google Drive um, a file with all of this class's links that I need. Um, and so when you go to this and you want to upload anything that you want your students to have, like a document, it's so much easier if it's already in your Google Drive. Okay, so without further ado, so what you wanna do, what are you going to do? So you're going to go to your Google Drive and you are going to open a new slideshow. Right, and you're going to create. This is what it looks like brand new. Your virtual classroom, you want it as a background. You're gonna set it up as a background. So you could do this several ways. You can search on the web. Google by a Google image search. Depending on what you want. So my classroom is a kitchen. So I'm gonna look up kitchen and I could pick any of these images. If you do not see an image that you like through a Google search, you can go to Canva. And if you don't already know, I love Canva. And I do have a Canva Pro, so I can use any, any images that I find on Canva or my outsole classes. So you're gonna hit on a presentation since you're going to upload it into your Google Slides. And we're gonna go to Photos, and I'm gonna type in Kitchen. 
Let's see. And this is the one that I picked because I liked it because I like this little board right here. So when I click on the photo, it's not the same size as what I want it to be. So I just drag it into frame on how I want it. Boop. And if you have it the way you want it, there you go. And if you have it the way you want it, all you do is just name it and then you press the down button. You do not want to save it as a PDF file. You want to save it as a PNG or a, J, a JPEG. Okay, so once you've downloaded that file, back to your blank Google slide presentation, hit background and choose image. And just drag or upload if you don't have a Mac. And then just upload your picture. Okay, and there's my kitchen. All right, so you can create a title if you want, hit the text box, drag it to the size that you want, and then just type in whatever you want. That's how you do a text box. If you want a text box with a link directly on it, like I do, like I have on this welcome video right here, you just create a new text box. And if you have a Nearpad video, you can put, um, your class's Nearpod code. I like to add it so it's in, in different spots. So we have our text box. Now what if you want to get this to be a clickable link? So what you will want to do is you will want to create a shape on top of this text box. So go over to shapes and pick a shape that you want and create it around your text. And see how it comes completely white? Well, of course, you want to have the picture behind it show through. So you're going to go back up here to the fill and hit transparent, and then this line or this border color and hit transparent again. And there you go. So all you do is just click on that shape again, go to the link that you want, hit this insert link, and then put whatever link you want. And so when the student clicks on that, it'll automatically take them to nearpod.com where they can insert their code and do the welcome video that I want them to. So if you already have pictures on your background that you want to make clickable, all you have to do is just draw another shape like we did before. So right here, I'm gonna use this pot right here as our, our class supply list. So I'm going to create another shape do transparent and make the border transparent. And then I'm going to go back to my Google Drive in my Google folder. And I'm going to find my PDF file that I had already upload. I'm going to right click on it, get the link. Before you copy this link, make sure that it has anyone with the link can view it. Um, otherwise, you have to um, give permission every time a student clicks on it. So anyone with a link, copy it, go back to your classroom, and you can either right click on it and insert link right there, or you can go to this little insert button right here, and then apply, and there you go. And I like that when you hover over something, if you already have a link, it, it shows you where it is. Okay, you, what if there is a picture in your classroom that you want that's not already there? So you can go to, and the easiest way you can do this is go to insert image and search the web. And in this case, I want a bowl of rice, but you want it to be transparent. You do not want to have it a, you do not want to have a, white box around it. So you're going to put in, um, you're gonna type in transparent, whatever you're looking for. So I'm looking for a bowl of rice. And then you're gonna put PNG. And then whatever pops up should be transparent. So you can either pick, let's say I want this one right here. You click on it, you press insert, and it should automatically insert. And then you can drag wherever you want. Okay, so say if you do a Google search over there and you don't like any of those PNG pictures, well, and you're not really sure if they're copyrighted free. So you can go back to 
your canva.com account, you can go to logos and you can search the photos here. And in this case, I'm gonna search um, bowl of white rice. Hmm, which one do I want? I liked this one. And then you're going to download it. You're gonna title it however you want and then you're going to download. You wanna make sure you can download it as a transparent background. And you can only do this with the Canva Pro account. If you do not have a Canva Pro account, you can have a free trial of it with a link down below. If you do not wanna get a Canva Pro account or if you've already done the trial period, you can Google how to remove background photos. So you're gonna hit download. After you've downloaded that, you're gonna go back to, to your virtual classroom that you are creating and you can either drag and drop if you have a Mac or you can put um, insert image, upload from computer. So here is my rice. And you can see it has that lovely PNG transparent and I can just drag it and put it wherever I want. Okay, so if you want, again, if you want this bowl of rice clickable, go back to your shapes. Oops, go back to your shapes. And transparent, transparent. Okay, so now my students, I want them to watch a YouTube video. So you just go to YouTube, find whatever video you want, hit share, copy the link, and then go back, go back to your classroom and right click, link, apply. And then now, whenever the student clicks on that, it'll take you, them to that YouTube video. I use the same techniques I did for the bowl of rice that I did to insert the Shirley Temple drink. And all I had is a link that goes to a article talking about how did the mocktail got its name. All right, so if you want to do another text box anywhere that says out school classroom and you want the students to go to that classroom when they hit that link, um, you just go to wherever that classroom is and then you just copy this. So I'm gonna insert a text box right here. You're gonna draw a shape on top of it again, just like we did the welcome video and the rest of the other things. Transparent, transparent, right click on it, link, and insert your link for your classroom. The final thing I'm gonna show you is how to insert your Bitmoji. In order to have a Bitmoji, you need to have a Google account. Um, so you can go to bitmoji.com and sign up on your Google account. And then if you are in Chrome, you can install the Chrome extension for Bitmoji. It makes it really, really easy. So I searched Chef. I'm gonna use this Bitmoji. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste it in and size her up. Now I don't really mind if my legs are off the classroom or not. So, but I don't like the way she is facing. So I'm going to flip her horizontally. You don't, you right click on her, you press rotate, flip horizontally, and then she looks better. Okay, so if you want her to be clickable, Again, you wanna go back to your shapes and draw a shape on top of her. Make it transparent. Go back to your Google Drive and find the video that you want. You are going to get the link Make sure that anyone with a link can view it, copy it. Go back to your classroom, right click on that shape and insert your link. So very simple. You can add other things on here, but this is just a very simple way that you can 
create a virtual classroom. Once you've tweaked it and figured it out all everything you wanted to put into the classroom, you're going to, of course, title it. So when you're ready to share it with your class, of course, you don't wanna share it with them giving the back access. You're gonna to want to share it to where they, when they click the link, it'll automatically take them to presentation mode, like this. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Press the share button. You are going to click change to anyone with the link. You are going to copy the link. You're gonna paste the link to wherever you want to save it. Highlight this edit part and you're going to change edit to present. And that is the link that you are going to send your students. So you can send it anywhere. I send mine in our little messages in the classroom and let's see what that looks like. Okay, so here is our classroom. This is what the classroom will look like once your students press on that. That link. The key is to change that edit to present and then you can click here are the things that we choose. So here is my list that I want my students to know about. Um, here's the video. I want them to make a bowl of rice. Here is our classroom and here is the video of me. Okay so I hope you guys find this process really easy. It is a great way to engage with technology with our students in the classroom. And it is a great place to have all of our links in the same spot in a visual engaging way for our students. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let me know. Have fun creating your guys' virtual classrooms. And if you guys want to share your virtual classrooms with me, please show me. If you, even if you want to do a snapshot, please show me. I would love to see the virtual classrooms that you do. Thank you guys. Bye.